The flu, winter, low humidity, what do these things have in common? A new study has shown the reasons behind why we're all gonna be feeling like this, and hopefully a way to make it stop. Supernova style science news with Jelly Seven Sage. It's well known that the flu spreads quickly in the winter, where there's cold temperatures and low humidity. But why is this happening? Many doctors may tell you that in places where there are a lot of people close together, especially like a school, the flu spreads easily. But the close proximity may not be the only reason. In a recent study, a group of researchers from Yale, led by Akiko Iwasaki, the professor of immunology, found that another main reason could be the low humidity is negatively impacting our immune system. First, the low humidity prevents hair-like structures in our throats to remove the virus particles. Those hair-like structures are called cilia. They are also present in your nose. Now, when you clip the hairs in your nose, those are not the cilia, though those are important as well. You can't remove the cilia because they're microscopic and on your cells, but they can be destroyed by diesel fumes, cigarette smoke, and other pollutants. The way they work is the mucus first captures the virus particles, and then the cilia move the mucus to your stomach. What the low humidity does is prevent this process from happening by not only slowing down the speed of the movement instead of the usual movement of moving back and forth every 14 to 16 times per second, but also possibly changing the direction, making the mucus go up. Second, it also reduces the ability of the cells in your airway to repair the damage done by the virus. When infected by the flu, the virus damages the tissue in your throat which are the epithelial cells. Low humidity affects the response of those cells multiplying in response to the damage, thus increasing the damage in your throat. Third, the low humidity disrupts the immune system by disrupting specifically the interferons. Interferons are proteins that are released by virus-infected cells to alert surrounding non-infected cells about the threat and the other cells will then increase their antiviral protection. This disruption while trying to fight the flu is like having no communication while trying to fight a war. They found the immune system was acting this way by testing mice that were genetically modified to resist viruses like us humans do. The mice were in all the same temperature, but some were in containers with high humidity and some with low humidity. Then, they were exposed to the influenza A virus. The mice that did well were kept at about 50% humidity. The mice that showed all these effects in their immune system were at 10-20% to 20 humidity. So, if you use a humidifier this winter, which I would highly recommend, try to keep it at around 50%, but you don't want to go above because above 50%, mold can start to grow. I wish the study also did 40%, because that's usually <coughs> a safer level for homes. If you want to learn more, check out the links below in the description. If you want to know more helpful science news, follow. Remember to share helpful science stories with your friends to show your supernova style. And I hope I feel better soon.